guys, summer in Rome seems to be over. This is Piazza Re di Roma. It's dinner time and tonight we're doing something different. Lately I've been having tons of really delicious Italian stuff, all sorts of pappardelle, tagliatelle, mozzarella and so on. But tonight I'm in the mood for Indian. I'm no expert on Indian food, so I called up my friend Vivek and he's gonna join us tonight. This is uh, this is a pickle. That's a mint chutney. Yeah, it's spicy. It's come, come, what's it called? Duya. Spicy thing from Calabria. The spicy sausage. So, what do you guys want to try? Mm -hmm. so. The matzo is spicy. It's really spicy. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you on uh, the appetizers. So. Okay. Do you mean like to share or each? Or? Uh, like these two for three or five. That sounds good. Okay. okay. Are you okay with that? I'm okay with everything. So. And I'm cobra. Cobra. How's work? Oh, it's fine. I'm working from home now. So. Eyes are right. Yeah. Okay. So do you prefer that? Uh, I don't prefer that, but I'm getting accustomed to that. So, you and I too, right? Yeah. Okay. yeah. A question that interests everyone is like, why Rome? How did you end up in Rome? It's because of the university. Oh, okay. It's how did, what, the how did that work? Of like, I applied, like, when I started applying to the universities, I found out about Sapienza University Sapienza, of Rome, okay. and they had this master's in transport systems engineering mm -hmm. in English, so I chose okay. Sapienza University because of that. Okay. Well, what other cities did you consider? Did you think of whatever, London, Paris, something else? I thought of uh, Helsinki. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Was it program? Yeah, they have a program in mechanical engineering. Uh -huh. I wanted to go to Finland because I like snow no, and you like winter, snow. winter. That's why I wanted to go to... What? Do you no, ski? no, no, I don't ski. No, I so why it. do you decide Rome and not Helsinki? Uh, I got afraid because of the weather. I think like... Uh, Wait a minute, you like snow? I mean, I like snow, but like uh, I read some reviews about the city, like how the uh, winters are long and dark. So. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you go to Sapienza here first at the mm -hmm. university? Did yeah, you, you I know? came here to study. Okay. How many years? I studied for two and a half years. Two and a half. So the Italian must be good. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, good. Yeah. I mean, okay. We never speak Italian. I don't, I don't think we did. Was it hard to learn Italian? Too? Uh, first year I had, it wasn't hard, but I had to study a lot. Mm -hmm. It wasn't that hard because the literature is Latin, so mm -hmm. I had no problem writing or studying Italian. And now I'm here to work, you can like fully communicate with everyone? Yeah, yeah. Well, I speak cool. only in Italian. Is that right? Yeah, nobody is Do they speak English? English? No, they don't use English. Okay. Come here, CDJ. Chicken biryani. I don't know which language to speak. Chicken biryani. Oh, fried egg, yeah, chicken biryani. Chicken fried egg. The man, don't they can do the chicken? Okay. Eh, una cosa. Antipasto. Antipasto, yeah, yeah. Bye, bye. Some Nan. Nancy. Yeah. But what did you know of it? What, like, what did you know of Rome before you got here? Uh, Rome. Ooh. <laughs> oh, guys, it's one big beer. <laughs> I just knew like it's the capital city of Italy and there is Vatican yeah. City. I chose this because it's the capital city. 
I thought like I would have other some opportunities after my graduation, so I chose Rome. Cool. So, would you not be as interested in Milan or Florence? Florence or Milan or Pisa? I don't think so. No. You don't think so? No, no like. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one I feel, how can I say, when I have this past, I feel emotional. If it's if to make it good, like... I, if I, it makes you feel good, it's like a comfort food. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is. Romans say that, uh, I think, Carl Schoepepe is the best antidepressant. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and also for, like, for immunity, you need a lot of Carl Schoepepe. <laughs> what about you? What's your favorite dish from Rome? Carbonara. Yeah. Love it. I can't eat it every day, maybe once a week. Okay. Cashew pepper, exactly the same thing. I love it, but maybe once a week. Amatriciana, I love it. But it's... I feel like you have it more often. More twice. So, yeah. So, uh, you like snow, but... Did you get any snow here while, while in London? Yeah, it's snowed in, in 2017, 2017 as, well. as well. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's snowed, yeah, yeah. The trains were stopped, no, no, no trains were going, nothing was going on. Yeah, yeah. Everything went. But you get snow where you're from? No, no never, snow. never. So is it like tropical, subtropical climate? Yeah, it's close to, tro yeah, it's tropi tropical climate. It's South of India, I would yeah. imagine. It, during summer, they are like, 29 during the night and 47 during the day, 45, 47 during okay, the day. Okay, so this is nothing to do with I struggle here in the summer. So, how is Rome for you as far as like interactions with other people? How do you find the town? Uh, some friends, they get really close and they invite me to their houses like Oh, okay. Uh, I have now a couple of friends, they invite me to their homes in other cities. Alright, But in other cities. Yeah. Okay, cool. But in Rome, I have few friends, few close friends in Rome. I made some friends in the university right. and then at the work. Well, you know, they say people are like in a big city, I imagine people are pretty close, so that's just how it is. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. You know what's um I'm enjoying the food. So did you travel around Italy as well or just Rome? I have seen like I lost the count, but I have seen some cities like Bologna, uh -huh. Milano Marittima, Genoa. Milano Marittima, yeah. mm. I've been there, no? Genoa, Cinque Terre, and then Siena, Siena, yeah, yeah, Firenze, Florence, Montalcino. It's been around, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like. In Lazio, I don't know how many, like, I have, I have covered the whole Lazio, I think. You know, what's the greatest thing in Lazio is the Sagre. Mm -hmm. uh, usually it's related to some saint, yeah. but also to, uh, like, harvest or something, you know, wine. But right, right now there is a um, uh, Sagre, a Marino. Del Vino. So, it's like... 20,000 people getting drunk. You know? What? No, no, no. 
passare del vino. Il marino è come like Oktoberfest for wine. I think I have seen a sagra in, in the region Marche. Yeah, they have it everywhere. Mm -hmm. okay. In every little tiny village or town in Italy. But Lazio is pretty good. So definitely what you want to go see is uh, La Sagra del Carciofo. My friend, you eat like two kilos of artichokes in a day. What? They even have like artichoke ice cream. Yeah. The one I had is artichokes and pecorino ice cream. What? So last year I did Sagra del uh, Castagne, chestnuts. So they have this place near Viterbo where they organize like a huge party for three days and all you eat is chestnuts. Six hundred different ways. Yeah. Ah, oh, so that's mine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is yours. Okay. Ah, okay. This is my favorite dish in India. Rice with mutton. Mm. Oh, excellent. Mm. I'm used to uh, just plain naan, that's why I'm pretty curious about this. So here's a question. Do you miss Indian food when you're here? No. You can be honest. Because I live with my sister. Say so again? I live with my sister. Oh, true. You live with your sister. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, so your sister cooks? Yeah. Indian? Yeah, yeah, she cooks Indian. Oh. So you don't miss anything? Can you buy all the ingredients here in Rome? Yeah, we can buy the most of the ingredients. Mm. There are some Indian shops. Is it like good, good stuff, authentic? Like real Indian? We know a shop in Torpignatara. Mm. He delivers it at home. Yes. He's smart man. He moves to Rome. Okay, but just in case, because his sister, you know, mm. close enough. <laughs> he doesn't move any. He doesn't miss any cooking. Mm, spicy. So when you think of it, like, what biggest difference between India, the part where you're from, and Rome? Obviously, it's, it's a huge country. I understand the differences, you know, from one city to another. But let's just look at your, the, the part of the country where you're from in Rome. Yeah. No, I've never been there. Uh, like I can say, life is much more simpler in my hometown in India. Because like uh, sometimes it takes five minutes just to get out of my condominium. I live on the ninth floor, ninth floor of my uh, complex. Okay, yeah. And then like to get out and then take the elevator and go down and get out of the complex. Takes five minutes. Why? Yeah, sometimes it Why takes it take so long? Because the elevator is outdated and like only one person can use it at a time. Uh, is, is it one of those old buildings with yeah. like really tiny elevators? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. okay. Oh, that can be like, you know, if you're in a hurry, it's a yeah. an egg. Okay. And then I had to get accustomed to the clothes. Like, in India, I used to wear like t-shirt and shorts all over, all around the year. Yeah, he is. Yeah. yeah, it's like I have to wear a jacket and then Yeah, scarf. I remember you, no. like the first time we met is actually, so I would normally go to this place and you always were like really put together with a jacket, 
So that, that's how I, uh, you know, I, that's what I noticed right away. I can believe a uh, life is simpler elsewhere. Rome is not a simple city. It's yeah. charming, but it's not simple. Yeah, yeah. If you want simple life, go somewhere else. Now here's a big question. Would you like to stay here, or do you like, are you planning to move out? So, what's I'm what's not your... sure. I'm not sure. Do you have any plans? I have to see. Like, I'm not sure that I'll be spending my rest of my life in Rome. Mm. So you're not sure about your future, whether you want to stay here or you want to leave? Or like, why would you leave and why would you stay? I would leave if I get uh, an opportunity from abroad. That's the, like, and I want to study MBA. Master. You have one master's degree, yeah, right? Yeah. But you want another one. Yeah, I want. Uh, yeah, business I want, related. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And for that, you'd like to, you know, to get your degree from the best possible business school you can find. Yeah. I don't remember. It was really. This is gulab jamun, this is mango ice cream, and this is kulfi. Kulfi is the word for gelato in Hindi. Kulfi. Did I say that right? See, kulfi. The kulfi, yeah. Kulfi. Kulfi. You want a kulfi? Ma, io, si. Eh? I knew it. Perché? Non so, immaginavo che avresti preso questo. Si. I'm gonna take the gulab jamun. The gulab Gula, gulab jamun. Gulab jamun. Gulab jamun. Gulab jamun. So, if I was gonna go to India, to your city, yeah. Can you pronounce for me the name of your city? Kenali. Okay. And how do you think I would do there? Like, do you want to go as a tourist or... Like, no, 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 no. Like, uh, being anywhere as a tourist is a, is a whole different ball game. Yeah. But to live there, a year, wow. two years, six months, six years, it doesn't matter. But how do you, well, now that you know me a little bit, like, how do you see me there? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I think, like, first six months you would get a cultural shock. Why would I be shocked? Like everything is different over there. Yeah, like, even exactly. like uh, the way they drive is much more chaotic. Than here? Yeah. So guys, they have it, all right? So they drive in a much more chaotic way than Rome. Would you believe that? My city has a population of around 200,000 people. Okay. Oh, there is no traffic light. No traffic light. See, no traffic light. See, there is no traffic light. Kulfi e gulab jamun. Gulab jamun è bellissimo. Ah, gulab jamun. Kulfi. Kulfi è bellissimo. 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 Indian food here, but what, what else do you miss? I used to ride a motorcycle. I don't have a driver's license here, so that's one oh. of the things that I miss the most. Yeah, I got enrolled in the driver's school two weeks ago. And okay. Started. So you get your driver's license yeah. for what? Are you getting, going for a bike or a car? For a car, but it includes, like, I can drive a motorcycle up to 125 cc. Okay, so it's not for both. Okay. But I can buy a can't get like motor. a big bike and no, need a different driver's license. Yeah. Okay. Well, the lady here has a driver's license for big bikes, right? Yeah. You have a driver's license for the big bike? Yeah, I had to take it. Which was in mine? The green one? Yeah, I like the green one. Take the yellow one because it's mango. That's pissed out. I like pissed out. Okay. Oh, you do you want the green? No, no, like uh, mango is like Indian fruit, right? Yeah, then I'm going for mango. <laughs> this, my friends, is my mango ice cream made in India. I'm gonna love it. I'd never eat mango. This is like uh, first time in seven, eight years, but it was really good. Mm. I'm not kidding, I enjoyed it. How did you get here today? Is that they're having the strike? 
uh, Metro Strike. I live cross by so I won't. Oh, is it right? <laughs> okay. I mean, how bad is that? You in Rome, there are places you can walk to. Yeah, that's one of the nice things in, in Rome. Uh, in most neighborhoods, you don't really need to leave the neighborhood. You can have everything you need in your neighborhood, especially in this one. This is. Is this San Giovanni Tech Play? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's in a big neighborhood with everything one can need in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Do you ever go dancing here? Uh, yes, I do. Oh, uh, yeah, you told me you learned these, like, what, Latino dances and I, things? Okay. I, yeah, like, I have never danced salsa and bachata in India, like... So, this is the deal. Two of us used to hang out in, uh, in a, at the same place on Mondays, right? Yeah. And there is nothing going on on Mondays anymore. So, what do you do now? I, well, I don't go there. I guess you don't go there either, right? Yeah, now we have moved to San Lorenzo. Wow. Oh, so the same group that yeah. used to party over there parties in San Lorenzo now. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. You can tell me anything about it. Yeah, okay. Right. Okay. So, overall, you have a good social life in Rome? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. We end this really good dinner with a thought, with a wish. Okay, since you like snow so much and today it, it rained, okay, it was really cold and windy today in Rome. Yeah. It's really not summer anymore, so I hope it will snow this winter. Okay, and if we go to Vindor or Campo Felice, I'll let you know. All right, all right. Okay. okay. See you next time, guys. Ciao, ciao. Namaste. Thank you.